Hi there guys, welcome to Box Prep. I'm going to be taking a look at a very interesting and intriguing fight that's happening on the 16th of June here in the UK between Scott Quigg and Rendell Monroe. This fight is for the interim WBA World Super Bantamweight title. Let's jump right into it. Let's look at Scott Quigg. For me, Scott Quigg has a very good and sound technical and defensive base. Particularly early in fights, he doesn't do anything silly, you know, he doesn't leave himself open like some fighters do, getting carried away, losing his technical foundations. He keeps a good high guard, and when he's throwing punches, he makes sure that guard is still uh, quite nice and high, so he's not leaving himself too open to counters. He has pretty good defensive uh, skill to the body, and he doesn't neglect the defense. He's a type of sort of defense first type fighter, um, and I think that that bodes well for him so that's a good thing for him however even though he is uh, good defensively I feel he does have power and he can hurt you his per KO percentage is around 70% somewhere around that range and he throws a good range of punches you know he likes to go to the body as well as up top and another thing uh, he does throw good uh, straight punches through the middle he spots gaps and he'll exploit them um, I believe he was against the guy with his second name was Askin a couple of fights ago and um, he was able to if you look at that stop the guy by going up with a straight uppercuts that shows me that he likes to be a bit calculated and pick his punches as well so you know technically sound Scott Quigg good boxer uh, negatives experience he's just not on his side really he's fought uh, at good domestic level but his opponent Rendell Monroe as we'll see, has a vast more, vastly more experience than him. He's fought at world level and has dominated at European level. So, you know, Quigg's making a jump here, kind of jumping over European level to more like a world level fight here for him. Um, so that's something to think about. Let's look at Randall Munro. Um, as I said, experience on his side. He fought uh, Toshiaki Nishioka for the WBC Super Bantamweight title. He did very well in that fight, kind of held his own, but just wasn't enough to get the decision. Um, he, in the past, has dominated European level at this weight. He defeated Kiko Martinez twice, who is the current European champion now, and someone, Carl Frampton's talking about fighting. And he defeated a couple, you know, some other really good guys like Victor Terrazas and uh, Simon Maladurutu. Maladurotu, can't really pronounce that, but... He was another guy who had fought at world level when Monroe fought him, and he had a decent, you know, thirty odd and two record, and Monroe was able to defeat him. So, a good level of opposition Monroe has faced. He's been there and, and done it. He has more of an accumulative power, I would say, more than like, like sort of one punch type power. Um, and sometimes gets a bit excited for me when going to try and finish guys. I'd like to see him be a bit more patient when he gets someone in trouble. Um, he puts on good pressure. He's he's good when he likes to fight on the front foot. Randall Monroe likes to put pressure on his opponent and dictate from there. I think that the key in this fight for Randall Monroe is volume and work rate. I think that he will keep the work rate high and force Scott Quigg, therefore, to respond and keep the work rate high as well. Monroe also has a good chin. Um, he's lasted with you know world class opposition. He's lost twice, um, both being by decision. And he has a, uh, I think his record shows he has a good chin and he can take a punch. Recently, we saw Cal Froch defeat Lucien Boutet, and a lot of people before that fight were saying the reason that uh, Froch was going to win was because he's fought at a much higher level than Boutet. At the time, I was skeptical about that theory, but um, I'm going to go with that one in this. I'm going to pick Rendell Monroe to win this by decision, and I'm going to purely base it on the fact that he has fought. You know, a far higher level of opposition than, than Scott Quigg. He's been there. He's been in the Lions Den. He went to Japan with a hostile crowd who were cheering every every time Nishioka landed a punch. And he held his own. Um, I think, you know, he has, like I said, fought in the Lions Den. He's fought difficult fights against world-class opposition. And he's going to use that experience in this fight. Um, I think that Monroe is going to up the pace. He's going to keep the volume up and the work rate and I think that Scott Quigg is going to be forced to respond when Scott Quigg responds I think he may lose his technical base because the more punches you throw the more focus you may lose and the more your technical base and technical foundations are likely to falter and I think that may be the key in this fight I think it's going to come down to volume work rate and experience being on Rendell Monroe's side however I do 
think you know it's a very good interesting fight i think it's going to be a close fight um i am concerned that if it, if the scorecards are very close that they're going to give it to scott quick because i say he was the guy with the promotional backing um however i uh, you know feel that Monroe is just going to really uh, put the pressure on, put the work rate up, and I think he's going to win this by a decision. Um, I can't really... I'm not really going to go for a, a stoppage in this. I don't really see it. Um, it could happen, but I'm leaning more towards a decision. And on a side note, um, the current WBA World Super Pantomweight Champion is Guillermo Rigondo. Not sure how either of these guys would do in the ring against that guy. Uh, he's extremely talented. Uh, one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world, in my opinion. Um, but that remains to be seen. Something maybe to think about in the future. But for now, we have a really good uh, domestic tear up, I guess. Uh, I think this is going to be very scrappy in parts, particularly in the middle rounds. And I'm picking Randall Monroe by decision. So, thanks for listening. Let me know what you guys think. This is Boxpred and I am out.